Hey ladies, Tap here and welcome back to my channel. If you are new, thank you so much for stopping by and checking out another closet chat with Tab. So um, it is like eight o'clock in the morning that I'm filming this video and because I have a lot of things I have to get done today before I start to get ready for the work week. But um, just wanted to share a few things with you guys before we get into the chat. Um, behind me, I have stacked two of these Target bookshelves that I purchased for $25 each. These bins here, I got these online from Bed Bath & Beyond at the time, which was probably about a month ago. They were on sale for $26. And I like the color of them. I like the clear here on them so that way I could see exactly what's in each one of these and so I will be purchasing more. I was going to do all white but I think um, the pink adds a pop of color in here and so I'm still you know trying to get everything together so I'm going to get about two to three more bookshelves and then um, maybe about maybe two more uh, packages of these. They come in a package of four and so I think I may get maybe one or two more um, depending on how I'm going to have everything set up, you guys. So this side of the closet is going to be my for my summer clothes. So in my summer wear, it's pretty simple. I like to wear sundresses, so all the thin stuff for summer will go on this side. And then the other side will be for my winter um, outfits and things. So. so this video won't be too long, you guys, so we're just going to get into it. I um, just wanted to check in um, to make sure you guys have scheduled your well woman's exam. I know a lot of times we get so busy as wives and moms and with working and other things that's going on. That part of our lives pretty much slips our minds because we have so much going on. But... Um, I just wanted to come on here and share with you guys a couple of things um, that's going on with me. I didn't tell anyone about this, but my husband and my sisters and my mom. But last March, I had my well woman's exam. And so um, where, you know, you go in for your pap smear and your mammogram and your blood work and all. And so... Um, so long story short, I have not one, not two, not three, not four, but I have five fibroid tumors, you guys, that I need to have removed. And um, at the time, I had so many weddings booked last year till I just couldn't fit it into my schedule to have the surgery. But I do plan to have the surgery this year, this summer, as a matter of fact, before my daughter goes off to college. And so going back to um, when I had my pap smear and my mammogram and blood work done, um, after a few days after my exam, I got a phone call from the doctor regarding my mammogram results. And um, he saw something on my right breast. And so um, he wanted me to go in for an addi additional ultrasound to the breast care center. And so they got me scheduled for the following Thursday. So I went in and thank God, you know, everything was benign. And so, you know, that was great. But so that morning, because my appointment was at 8.30, first thing in the morning, and it was myself and three other women that was in there. And I couldn't see anybody's face because we all had masks on, of course. And, um, but it was just so quiet. And I know, I know that, you know, I can imagine that everyone in the room was nervous, you know, because why would you be at a breast care center if something, you know, wasn't noticed on your mammogram? So I just had to say a quick little prayer up under my breath for every woman in there, you know, because although my results were benign and all, not every woman gets those types of results. Mm. So my blood work, everything was good with my blood work. My um, iron was a little low. So I am 
currently taking iron pills and um you know my pap smear was normal thank god and so um i will be going back in may and i'm sure you know since it's going to be over a year um, i'm going to have to do another ultrasound to see if my fibroids have gotten any bigger within a year and so i am going to go ahead and get everything scheduled for my surgery and also i'm thinking about having a full hysterectomy so i'm 48 years old i'm not having any more kids and um so i think i'm gonna go ahead and get that done as well just knock it out in one surgery am i nervous about it a little you know because i had two c-sections with my girls so i know how painful that was you know as far as the recovery and then at the same time you know um i just don't want to have it done y'all but i know that i gotta get it done so um to all of the ladies out there um that's going through chemotherapy radiation um i'm praying for you guys and so moms sisters aunts grandmoms let's go ahead and stay on top of our health you guys and let's go ahead and get our well woman exam scheduled for 2023 and i'm gonna go ahead and end this video here you guys um i pray that you guys have a blessed day enjoy your sunday have a blessed week next week and i will see you guys in the next video bye guys